Hi guys, Jared here, and today I'm going to be taking a look at the Neo Geo X Mega Pack Volume 1. What you're seeing right now is just the menu. I'm going over all the different titles that are in the Mega Pack, because uh, you never know, maybe one of your favorite Neo Geo classics is available. But right now we're going to talk about just a few of my favorites, and we're going to start with Garo Mark of the Wolves. Now I'm not going to make you sit through all that loading, just going to jump right on in. What I loved about this 1999 release was the fact that it sort of pushed the Fatal Fury story as far as it could go. This takes place in the future, well in the future, like quite a few years after the original Fatal Fury and it just it features a really nice, robust, easy to understand but very hard to master combat system. Look at these graphics, this was amazing. Remember that the Neo Geo originally came out in 1990. So this is really stunning. I mean, this hardware is ancient by this time. Uh, there were so many like more technically impressive fighters, at least visually, and yet the Neo Geo was still rocking out the hits, man. This was this was really really impressive. I fully plan to review this game and all the other games I'm just going to take a quick look at in uh, future episodes. I'm, I've actually ordered some of these games uh, for my consoleized MVS, that's how big of a fan I am. Alright, so next up is Blazing Star. Blazing Star was originally released in 1999 and it's actually one of my favorite shoot 'em ups on the Neo Geo. Now if you're a Neo Geo fan, odds are you know that there weren't too many shmups released on the platform. I mean, this platform is primarily known for its fighting games. But if you want to pick out one shooter that's really unique and really fun, it's Blazing Star. What makes this game unique is the fact that it has basically a Mega Buster, which is so cool. If you hold down the A button, you can charge up that little meter you see in the bottom left-hand corner of your screen and then release this crazy powerful attack. What I didn't show you was that there are a couple of selectable um, crafts that you can pick in the beginning of the game and the way these work is, well, they're, they're all slightly different. This one has like a spread mechanic as you see and as I power up I get homing missiles and things like that but there's others that have lasers, some weird circular things, it's just all kinds of different variety. And yes, I know, this wasn't the first game to do the Mega Buster thing but just wanted to mention it just the same. Along with Prehistoric Isle 2, I'd say, well, I should also probably say on Polestar, those, these three, or those three shooters are pretty much the cream of the crop. I know, like, hardcore SNK fans are like, oh my god, you're missing such and such. But for me, those three are, are basically as good as it gets on the platform, and they're absolutely fantastic. Now, I should mention on the X, this one does suffer from a little bit of input lag. It's not too, too bad. But later on in the stages when they, you know, begin to kick your ass, uh, you will notice you will notice the input lag and you're going to die because of it. So, more good news is that if you want to buy Blazing Star in MVS format, it's not too, too bad. I've seen these go for about 50 bucks, which is pretty good considering uh, games like Prehistoric Isle 2 can fetch over 200 for the uh, carts. This is such a great game. It really, really is. And I beat it! Your skill is great! Damn right it is! Alright, the last one we're going to look at is Kazuna Encounter. And there were a lot of other games I could have talked about. I could have talked about Metal Slug, The Last Blade, Shock Troopers, The King of Fighters 96, but I just wanted to highlight three games that were just bloody amazing. Two fighters and one shmup. What made this one so unique is those two little patches you see on the ground. They basically allow you to tag in your partner. One of the downsides to Kazuna Encounter is the fact that if you beat one enemy, the match is over, as you just saw. So you don't actually like play the partner character, and that's kind of unfortunate because it makes the game 
go way, way faster. But what they were trying to do was follow uh, basically professional wrestling, whereby if you're in a tag team match and one player gets tagged out, well, that's pretty much the end of it. Also really enjoyed those, those nice little cutscenes that you see there. So anyways, guys, that's pretty much all I wanted to show. Just wanted to highlight a couple of my favorite games on the Neo Geo X Mega Pack Volume 1, and I'm kind of curious to hear, if you're playing yours, what are some of the uh, some of your favorite games on the pack, and which games have you discovered for maybe the first time that you'd never played before? Hit up a uh, either a video response, or leave a comment, or something like that. I'd really like to, to talk a little bit more about these classic Neo Geo games. Thanks for watching, everyone. And I'll be back soon with another video. You take care of yourselves.